Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great this morning. So we'll work with the equation of a tangent to a function at a given point. So let me share my computer screen with you. Says, find the equation of the line I think we can move this out so Maybe I'll be able to move with this way, maybe. So I have to get rid of this. Picture which I can do easily if I go back to the there it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me erase these lines. So let me write the problem again. Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of fx equal to one third x times square root of x squared plus five. So in order to find the function, we have to find the derivative of the function. So our f of x is equal to one-third x times square root of x squared plus y. Now let's find the derivative of f with respect to x. And that will be, we'll take it as a product of two terms. So it will be first we will do the x term outside. And then inside the parenthesis it will be x squared plus 5, that was half, half minus 1 is minus half, and then uh, <clears throat> derivative of x squared is 2x, right? And the next one will be plus, because it's a derivative of two products, is 1 third, and derivative of x with respect to x is 1 times x squared plus 5 to the power of half. Okay, so this is equal to, I'll distribute the 2x to x, so 2x squared by 3, okay, times 1 over x squared plus 5 to the power of half, okay, plus 1 third x squared plus 5 to the power of half, okay. Now we have been given the point two two. So please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. So watch this program until the end. So when x is equal to two, f prime two, x is equal to two, is equal to two times two squared by three multiplied by one over two squared plus five 
to the power of half plus one third x square plus five is two square plus five to the power of half okay so this is f prime two is equal to two times two square is two times four okay you know something i forgot to include a half over here because when i'm finding the derivative of x square plus five to the power of half the half comes in the front so this is a two in the denominator so there's a two in the denominator okay and the rest is fine so this two will cancel with this two so this will be four two square is four divided by three times one over two square is four four plus five to the power of half plus one third again four plus five to the power of half so this is f prime one is equal to four third one over nine to the power of half plus one third times nine to the power of half right so if i move this a little bit up and create some space i will get uh, f prime two this is f prime two not f prime one what did i write Remember, x is 2. So f prime 2 is equal to 4 third plus 1 over times 1 over 9 to the power of half is 3 plus 1 third times 3. Okay. So this is equal to, it is this and make sure is this is dot. So this is equal to 4 over 9 plus this 3 cancels with this 3 plus 1 or equal to 4 over 9 plus 9 over 9. In order to make the lowest common denominator the same, I convert 1 to multiply it by 9 in the denominator and 9 in the numerator. So this is equal to 13 over 9. Okay, so we need to find the equation of the tangent to the function to the function at two two. The point is two two. X is two. Y is two. So that is equal to y minus two y minus y one is equal to the slope is 13 over 9 times x minus x1, which is also 2. Okay. So now multiply by 9 all through 9y minus 2 is equal to 13x minus 2. So if I distribute the 9 and the 13, we, 9 on the left-hand side, I get 9y minus 18 is equal to 13x minus 26. Okay. So if I want to add 18 to both sides, I get 9y is equal to 13x minus 26 plus 8. That means 18 minus 26. Or it is 26 minus 18 with a negative sign because the larger number has a negative sign. So this is the equation of the tangent line to the function at 2, 2, at the point 2, 2. Oops, let me do a better job. I can do a better job. 
absolutely right. Really first. So 9y is equal to 13x minus 8. First. Okay, so that's the equation of the tangent. Equation, equation of the tangent to the function tangent to fx at 2, 2. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. The hint I wanted to give you or the tip is that you, when you do the derivative of the product of two expressions, you have to do the derivative of the first with the original one of the second, multiplied by the original of the second, and then uh, derivative of the second, multiply the original of the first. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you. So... If I break it up into x and x square, x being the first function, x square plus five is the second expression for x. So first I do the first expression is x, then derivative of square root of x square plus five, which is actually square x square plus five to the power of half. When you do the derivative of that, half comes, half being the exponent, half comes in the front, x squared plus 5 in parenthesis, inside the parenthesis, and then n minus 1, which is half minus 1, which is minus half. Also, do not forget to write the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. The whole thing is multiplied by 2x. Okay? So, and then plus 1 third. Now you write the second Expression x square, square root of x square plus 5 multiplied by the derivative of x, which is 1. Okay. And then you take care of the algebra. Okay. Remember, you first find the derivative of the function, the expression for it in terms of x. Then you plug in the x value. In this case, the point is 2, 2. x coordinate is 2. Plug in 2 to get the function of the, uh, the value of the derivative f prime at 2. Okay, that is the slope of the tangent line. Okay, and then you use the equation of a straight line through a point y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, m being the tangent. Okay, m being the tangent. And in this case, the tangent value is 13 over 9. Okay, so I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I have solved all kinds of algebra problems and statistics and calculus problem for you in my channel, Math Science Topia. So, uh, and do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another important problem. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.